Well, we do want to start, though, with that very important breaking news tonight. After all the buildup, it appears to be happening. Live pictures from Kyiv and the United Nations in New York City right now. An emergency meeting underway as the Ukrainian capital is under attack at this hour, taking fire from Russian forces as of an hour ago. President Vladimir Putin of Russia saying minutes ago Russia is conducting a military operation and warning other countries not to interfere. Fox 31's Matt Maher here with all those breaking new developments. Matt. And there are a lot of them, Jeremy and Erica. The crisis with Ukraine and Russia escalating exponentially within the last hour. You see a live picture of the capital, Kyiv, right here. This is just about 60 miles, 56 miles from the closest point of where Russian troops were earlier today. Those would be stationed to the north of here in Belarus. What we're not seeing right here are any of the explosions, but there are multiple reports of these blasts from Russian, uh, potentially missiles, shelling, and even aircraft happening all within the last hour. Vladimir Putin, Russia's president, went on TV and announced that a military operation in eastern Ukraine has begun, though we are getting reports that it is happening in three different places. Putin says it's all to protect civilians. That is certainly not happening. That is what the U.S. is saying. Now let's go to what Putin said just a short time ago on Russian TV. He said this, and I quote, I have made the decision to conduct a special military operation. Our analysis has concluded that our confrontation with these basically Ukrainian forces is inevitable. A couple of words for those who would be tempted to intervene. This is what we believe is directed toward NATO and the U.S. Russia will respond immediately and you will have consequences that you have never had before in your history. Now, right before this, Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, said he tried to set up a call with Putin today to talk about all of this. He said the Kremlin never picked up the phone. Zelensky then told his country they are ready for a fight. And just moments ago at an emergency meeting in New York, the United Nations Security uh, Council, the general secretary general of it, made this impassioned plea to Putin. Listen. I have only one thing to say from the bottom of my heart. President Putin, stop your troops from attacking the Ukraine. Give peace a chance. Too many people have already died. And we know we have heard multiple times from many people, including in the U.S. and all over NATO, who is ultimately going to pay the price for this war and this invasion. It is going to be innocent civilians in Ukraine. By the way, President Joe Biden just released a statement in part saying the prayers of the entire world are with the people of Ukraine tonight as they suffer an unprovoked and unjustified attack by Russian military forces. We are going to have much more on what is going on over there in Ukraine and in Russia coming up in less than an hour. We'll keep you updated right here on Fox 31. Jeremy. All right. Yeah.